Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Hana Sakai Tower. And we want to give a big shout out to Go Prosif. Thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. And tonight it is round three of the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. So Let's not hold it up any further. Let's see who the drivers are for our first group, which is group number five. First up, we've got Apotheca Death from Raw Sun God Racing, and she'll be driving in that Bentley Continental GT3. She'll be joined by Glitch from Flat Rabbit Racing Club in that shoebox Ford Club Coupe. And also in the group is Becky, driving for underdogs unleashed in that 1963 Corvette Stingray Coupe. And last but not least, Big Romy from Rivera Racing in that Jaguar F-Tie. Here they are lined up at the start gate. You've got Apotheca Death and Glitch on the front row, Big Romy and Becky on the back back row here we go left one and they are uh, oh look like becky had some trouble getting out of the gate there apotheca death hits the whole shot big Romy right on her tail apotheca death spins apotheca death holds off big Romy to take the win of lap one where is becky she had a hard time getting out of the start gate there let's check out the replay here they are at the start gate and right there Becky gets unhinged and hits, hits the start gate prematurely. And here she comes down, slips on the Kaiju Blue, and comes to a stop right there at Kenny's Kebab rest stop, right there on the middle straight. And here, Apothka Death spins, and you think Big Romy can overtake her, but Apothka Death somehow blocks Big Romy to keep first. Big Romy takes second, and Glitch takes third third oh wow man they're already going at it in this first lap so big Romy moves to the front row joining apotheca death and glitch moves to the back row with becky for lap two becky hoping to get some points on the board here she gets out clean out of the gate big Romy huge lead hugely oh big Romy spins oh they crash into him oh no what did i just see oh my gosh did Big Romy just spin around and block and knock everybody off the track so he could win? That is that is just dirty right there. Dirty. Look at the lead that Big Romy has. Then gets loose on the Kaiju Blue. Spins around. Here comes Glitch. And Apothecary Death slam into him. Glitch flips over as he nails Big Romy on the passenger side door. Apotheca Death also rolls over, and Becky, nowhere to go, hits Apotheca Death in reverse. Triple DNF. Wow. I can't believe that. Man, Big Romy, you should be ashamed of yourself. So here they go in into lap three. Not very many points on the board. Big Romy seems to be the big dog on campus. We got Becky joining Big Romy on the front row. Here they go for lap three. Becky, Becky fighting Big Romy. Can Becky stay in front? Big Romy gets a bump from Glitch. Big Romy taking the win, followed by Glitch. And who took third? Wow. I don't know who took third between Becky and Apotheca. Death. That was a photo finish. We're going to have to check out the replay here. So you see him come down from the watchtower, and it looks like Becky's going to get the whole shot. And she basically has to block Big Romy. But Big Romy gets a bump from Glitch, which was just enough to push Big Romy past Becky. And I guess Becky likes driving in reverse a lot better than driving forward. And you see Big Romy make it around, and Glitch makes it around Becky as well. And look at that last-minute charge by Apotheca Death. Man, I don't know who took third. We're going to have to look at it again. Whoa, that is close. We're going to have to freeze frame it to see who actually took third. 
and Becky, there it is, laser beam hits Becky's bumper first. So Becky is awarded third place and Apotheca Death with fourth. Here they go into the fourth and final lap and it looks like Big Romy has sealed the deal in his spot, but which of the other three drivers will join him moving on to the quarterfinal next round? Here they go out in front. Becky gets the whole shot followed by Glitch. Then there's Big Romy trying to pass Glitch. Oh, Glitch flips over. Glitch flipped over in Kaiju's lair. Oh, Glitch needed to finish that lap. It may affect him moving forward. We're gonna have to see the replay just to see what happens here. You see Becky does the slingshot, gets out in front of Glitch. Glitch is now in second place drafting behind. Whoa, look like Glitch hit a rock. We, we gotta get rid of those rocks, I swear. And coming around, oh, Glitch rolls it. I thought he might have been tapped by Big Romy, but it looks like he was not, and he just loses control coming to a stop right there at gate six. We're going to have to see what the point standings are, if Glitch can still move on. No! Apotheca Death moving on with Big Romy. If Glitch would have finished, he would have beaten out Apotheca Death. That is un. Fortunate. So here are the stats of the two cars moving on. You got that Jaguar F type and that Bentley Continental. Look at that. Big Romy. Two finishes. Worst place. What worst finish was second place. Well, we're gonna be introducing the drivers to group six, but first we're gonna take a quick short break. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, if you want to support our channel, head on over to our merch store and pick up a t-shirt like this one or even a pint glass. You can also click the join button below to become a channel member and for as little as $1 a month, follow our behind the scenes builds. All right, I'm a little parched, I need a drink. Mm. Oh, here we go with group six. We got Bob Blah Blah from Chaos Canyon in that 1949, 1941 Willys Coop, and he will be joined by Big Al from Big Al's Custom Diecast in that Aston Martin 177. And oh, oh, here comes Nick Devers. Check your rear view in that 1932 Ford. And last but not least, joining them is Romeo from KCLH Racing in that Lamborghini Huracan coupe man another big group group six round three here they are lined up you got blah 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 and big hal on the front row nick devers and romeo in the back row here they go they are off and wow big al and nick devers huge lead big al big al hits that rock we gotta get that rock out of there big al takes one. Oh, nick devers stops short of the finish line no no Nick Devers stops short of the finish line, pulls a dock, but blah, 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 and Romeo push Nick Devers over the finish line, but they don't finish themselves. I don't, I don't know what I'm seeing here. Look at the huge lead on the replay here. Big Al just hits that rock, and it's like nothing happened. Nick Devers tries to pass around Big Al, but unable to do so, and then you got Romeo knocking on the door, blah, blah, blah. And here they come around to the finish. Big Al crosses, but then Nick Devers wants those one of those sweet K-Babs, or he was plotting this all along. Here comes Bob Blah Blah and Romeo, and they both slamming the Nick Devers, but Nick Devers able to stop them. Nick Devers takes second because he crossed the finish line, but he denies Bob Blah Blah and Romeo from crossing. So that is gonna be a double DNF for Bob Blah Blah and Romeo who are now on the front row. Big Al and Nick Devers have moved to the back row and they're the only ones with points as we start lap two. Here they go. Romeo out in front followed by Nick Devers. Nick Devers trying to pass Romeo. Oh, Nick Devers does. Nick Devers passes him on the inside around Kaiju's lair and Nick Devers takes first place away from Romeo. And I believe Bob Blah Blah took third Big Al took fourth. Let's check out the replay. Look at Nick Devers just knocking on the door. Romeo, same for Big Al, right behind Bob Blah Blah. 
and look at that beautiful pass. Nick Devers was just waiting for Romeo to make a mistake, and there it was. Nice, slick inside pass right under Romeo. And then here comes Bob Lafla and Big Al for third and fourth. So now all cars have points on the board as they start group, or sorry, lap three. And Nick Devers and Big Al out in front. Bob Lafla and Romeo need to make something happen from the outside row. Here they go, lap three. And Nick Devers and Big Al, I swear, they must be working together, drafting, pushing each other down the track. It's like a two-car race. Oh, no. Bob LaBla didn't cross the finish line. Where is he at? Nick Devers with a great six-second time on lap three. Let's check out the replay. Here they come around the sewer vent camera, sponsored by Kenny's KBAB stand. There goes Nick, there goes Big Al, here comes Romeo, and there is Bob LaBla in fourth. But you see, Bob LaBla is slowing down, and it looks like he comes to a stop just past gate two, right there. Here's another angle of it. I don't think we see Bob LaBla get past the next-gen diecast billboard. He does not. And Bob LaBla gets his second DNF of the night. That is unfortunate for Bob LaBla, who now moves over in position three behind Big Al and Nick Devers in the front row. Looks like Nick Devers and Big Al, they're the ones moving on, but you never know here at the Pacific Rim Speedway. Big Al moves out front, followed by Nick Devers. Big Al, huge, huge win. But whoa, where? there's Romeo. Where is Nick Devers and Bob LaBla? We're gonna have to check out the replay. Oh, sub six second is enough for Big Al to get on the leaderboard for the fastest times here at the rim. No, he is short by three tenths of a second. Maybe next time, Big Al, since you will most likely be advancing on. Let's look at the replay here. Big Al hits the whole shot around kick blue. Here comes Nick Devers. Oh, Nick Devers rolls it in the helipad. Nick Devers bangs it entering the helipad, causing him to flip. Here comes Romeo. Looks like Romeo gives him a little kiss, flipping him back over, and Bob LaBla, is he gonna get past? No, he comes to a stop. Another DNF for Bob LaBla. Look at that. It's, you know, we, we, we love Bob LaBla here at the Pacific Rim Speedway, but Big Al, Nick Devers, moving on to the quarterfinals for the next round. Let's check out the winners here. Oh, here is Nick Deaver's uh, Ford and Big Al's Aston Martin stats. Look at that. They each won two laps. They didn't let anybody win. That's the way it went down. These two guys making a statement right here tonight at the rim. So let's take a look at all four winners. You got Nick Devers, Big Al, Apotheca, Death, and Big Romy. What an exciting round three tonight here for Koopa Cabana. We still have one more starting round and final thoughts coming up right after this. Hey, everybody. Man, round three, that was exciting. You got Nick Devers stopping short, but then blocking Bob LaBla and Romeo. You know what? I just love saying Bob LaBla. That is just amazing. If you know what that reference is from, put it in the comments below. Let's see how your pop culture reference knowledge works tonight. Thank you again. We got one more round in to determine uh, the starting drivers who will be moving on to the quarterfinals, group seven and eight, coming back next week. Don't forget, hit, hit, no, this way, hit, <laughs> hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future content from our channel. Thank you very much. I am Rubber Toe, wishing everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road.